The Sufa Regional Development Foundation says the development of its staffing complement is of paramount importance. The SRDF last week engaged the Labor Department in a labor law content training session for managers and supervisors of the organization. According to the Labor Commissioner, Joseph Joseph, continuous staff training on the island's labor laws augurs well for any organization. There has not been any major changes, any major amendments since 2011, but as the new cases come up, we, we learn new things, so to speak. You also have the issue of um, organizations sometimes changing staff. So you might have done training for an organization with a particular set of members, some of whom have left. So you have new people coming in. You want them to be abreast with the, the, the Labor Act. Okay? And of course, very critical for any employer to be versed with the Act so they can know how to deal with their employees when it comes to termination and you know other benefits or benefits employees are entitled to. Coming out of a tumultuous COVID-19 era, the SRDF hosted a similar labor law content training in 2023. Now faced with new challenges and other circumstances, the Human Resources Officer at the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, Tumansia Foswa, says ever true to its mission of developing not just the company, but the community at large, the SRDF saw it fitting to host this training session once more. We're having a labor training where um, our supervisors and managers are being refreshed on the labor laws for the labor employment laws. As part of the organization mandate, we believe that continuous training will help in the development of our staff. The training session aimed to reacquaint managers and supervisors with the methods and practices of labor laws to ensure effective staff management. From the Sufra Regional Development Foundation, I am Genevieve Gonzague.